Hello everyone, this is Amiti Sensei. Today I'll introduce you to some secret hacks you can use with the Kindle app. I assume a bunch of you guys often read books on Kindle, and what's good about it is that you can highlight any parts you like like this. And in this video I want to show you how to have any highlight parts on other apps such as note taking app. Alright, let's get started. First, I want to briefly show you some basics of using Kindle. As you long tap any parts you like, it should highlight them like this. As you touch here, you can set the color for your highlights. So you can make it blue, yellow, orange, or pink. We have four different colors here. So like this, you can keep adding highlights, which makes it easier for you to see them later as you look back on this page. But in case you don't really need them anymore, just tap the highlighted part again, and there should be an X mark on the highlighted color, so tap it, and you can move the highlights. When you want to look back on the highlights you added, touch anywhere on the screen, which will then show you some tabs at the top right here. Select the second option from left, which has this no looking icon, touch it, and it'll show you a list of all the highlights you added. And as you click on one of them for instance, it should take you to the page with the part highlighted. And now I want to show you how to save these highlighted parts onto note-taking apps. But first open your favorite note-taking app on the right using split view. It can be anything, I often use this app called Craft, so I'm going to use that here as well. But you could use other apps such as Memo, GoodNotes, Evernote, and Notion, so use whichever you like. Now we will start copying and pasting some of these highlighted parts. But we can't do that with the way it is now, even if you try to drag and drop them like this. So when you want to copy, touch them once, which will then show you a share button on the second from right, so tap it. You should see both site images and site text at the top. With site images, you can share your images like this. And with site text, you can copy these text or words and share them. To share, tap the share button on the top, and tap copy right here. Now they should be copied onto the clipboard. In this way you should be able to paste the part you just copy on the right, or a craft for me right here. So tap the share button, go to site text at the top, and click on share button. Copy and paste on your note taking app on the right. As you keep doing this, you have text saving your note taking app. And you can always come back here to take a look at them, or use them for your blog for instance, and there are so many ways to make use of this function. There are some cases you can't copy though, and there are some books that restrict you from sharing. For instance, this Japanese book called My Life is Invincible Because I Went to Bed at 10pm Yesterday Too is what I recently read and is actually one of my favorite books now. But for this book, as you highlight some parts and try to copy and paste them onto a note taking app on the right like earlier, tap here but now this thing pops up saying there were errors, you exceeded the copy limit of this book. So it's basically saying that I copied too much of this book, and they won't let me copy anymore. I think it's the Kindle app itself that puts this copy limit so people won't copy too much text from any books. But what I want to show you today is that I will teach you how you can still copy these texts, which will be the highlight of this video. I actually debated a little whether to share this or not with you guys, but it's not like I'll be using any bad or illegal ways to do them, and I'll still be using the features in Kindle, so I think this should be okay. So close this once, and as we did before, tap anywhere on the screen. Now you should see this mark for highlights at the top, so tap it, and you can see a list of parts highlighted. From here you can find a new share option that's different from the other one, so touch it. And now you have these flashcards and email options, so choose flashcards. This should show you this pop-up, so save it. This way we now have this feature called flashcards in Kindle, but they are basically flashcards you can use for studying. So as you memorize what's on the card, you could just keep swiping right like this. And these cards got both sides, front and back. This one is the front side and it says front right here. As you touch the flashcard, it flips and shows you the backside. 
So you could write something that you want to memorize on the back and put its meaning or answer on the front side and compare your answers to them. So now we know Kindle has these flashcards, but we won't be using them today. And I doubt many people use this feature anyway, so just don't care too much about this part. At the bottom of these flashcards though, you can find these options that says edit decks. So I'll tap this. This way you can see a list of parts highlighted like this, but in bigger text size with all text included, so it's really easy to read. And I'm finally going to tell you how you can copy and paste from here. Open your note taking app on the right leg earlier and start copying and pasting the text from the left side. So tap your text, triple tap and select all. Select copy, go to the note taking app on the right, touch the screen to paste. And this way you can copy your text even the ones with a copy limit. Let me do it again with a different one. Triple tap to select all, using three fingers, pinch in like this and you can copy. To paste, move them in the opposite direction, so pinch out like this. Once you remember these gestures, you can easily copy and paste anything. I'll do it again. Select all, pinch in, and then pinch out to paste your text. This is really helpful. This is actually a new feature with the release of a new iPad OS, and if you can do these gestures using three fingers, it really helps you work more efficiently, so please remember them. As you do these things one by one, all the highlighted parts can be pasted on this note taking app, so please give it a try. But keep in mind that these are supposed to be text with a copy limit, so just use them for your reference or for your record, and also when you want to remember certain parts of the book you're reading. So just be careful not to use them in a bad manner. That's all for today. If you liked this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I make videos on tips and hacks of iPad, so please do that too. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!